think the time has come to reshuffle this tank. There is no immediate problems, everything is fine, but the perch and the arowana are getting too big for this 240 tank, 240 gallon. The tigroness are fine, the, the catfish, but the... I mean, some of them, like this Nile perch is a little smaller than this one too, so they could stay. But I think I'm going to take them out anyway. All the perch, the three Nile perch and the four Baramundi, and the three Arowana I want to put in the 1800 gallon tank over there. I just took out uh, two black ear shark catfish from there. Which might have, might have, could have been a threat to them. So the only real threat remaining there, uh, remaining in there, is the Dorado catfish, which I doubt is going to go for any of those perch. They're really smart fish, and they're aware of their surroundings. And I don't think anybody else would bother them. I, I don't think the uh, tiger, tiger perch, the detnoid, detnoids would bother them. The big guys, even though they're pretty big, much bigger than those perch are, but if they bothered them, that would not be pre predatory, but some. Usually, uh, detonoids seem to be pretty lax. Just mind their own business. If a tank mate is too small to eat, they don't, they don't pay attention to it. So we're gonna go into this tank. I hope. We have to start catching them and transferring them over. I've been pretty much hand feeding them in this tank for a while and they grew pretty well. The Boramundi, the biggest guys are at least a foot. The smaller are probably 10 inches. And the uh, same for the Nile perch and the Arowana are well over one foot. This is the smaller one, maybe 16 inches, and these two are probably 18 inches so it's time for them to go into a bigger tank before they feel way too cramped wish us luck we're gonna need luck so they don't hurt themselves when I'm catching them and rehoming yeah 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 they beg all the time feed me Love me, never leave me. Especially the Baramundi are... They overpower a little bit the... Niles, the Nile perch. Well, yeah, they're pretty smart at evading the net. It looks like a battlefield. So the four Tigrinus remain. And the seven perch and three arowana are here. So uh, I think it's the biggest Nile perch. I just put them there, literally, just finished catching them. The I don't want in there first and then they perch. So hopefully everything will be fine. It's not a good idea to...
not the best idea to do it before the night. It's advisable to leave yourself a good amount of light time to observe and come back and check out and catch any problems if they arise. But I just was catching the uh, black ears out of here, so everybody was scared already and stressed out of the old inhabitants. So I decided to take advantage of it and put the new guys in. And hope, and hope that nobody is in mood to give them a hard time before they acclimate and adjust and get better, get get to their normal distressed state or closer to it. Of course, it's going to take probably half a day to a day for them to come down and explore the tank, explore the tank mates, make sense of everything, find their place understand the current, the hideouts, the dangers, the ropes. That blister is bothering me a lot, but keeps rubbing it. I'm gonna have to do something about it. Maybe change the flow, or I really don't want to put it in a different tank. But unless it starts swimming in a different pattern, this blister will always be there. The Dorado catfish I'm talking about. Well, anyhow, that's uh, that's our little news here. Uh, what is it? Seven and three, ten, ten new fish in the 1800 gallon. Three Arowana, three Nile Perch, and four Baramundi. They scratched up themselves on the rock pretty good. Just losing some scales and the abrasions on the scales, no, no blood. <coughs> A little bit of bloody spot on the biggest ray on the, on the dorsal. <laughs> they fought me pretty good fought in the net and tried their best not to get netted. 